it's Gamer Aimer here. So today, I wanted to talk about this pretty neat vintage toy that I found at a secondhand store near me. So this one, I actually stumbled across as it was at the very bottom of the shelf and it was kind of tucked away behind bags that were full of action figures, stuffed animals, and miscellaneous toys. So I saw this part of the claw actually popping out and when I went down to pick this up, I noticed that right away it said Radio Shack on it and it just looked like it had to be pretty old. So of course I did a little bit of research on this item and I found out that it was from the 80s and this is a pretty awesome robot. So I had to pick it up for only $2. So let's go ahead and check it out. This is the Radio Shack Armatron. Now this is a pretty awesome robotic toy that uses only one motor and tons of gears to go ahead and control this pretty awesome claw right here. So these two buttons actually control how this arm moves and how this claw actually opens and closes. So of course I figured that two dollars was such a great deal to take on this toy and see if it actually worked. So of course when I picked up this toy I noticed that there was a spot for 2D batteries and of course there were batteries in there from the early 90s that were all corroded and some of the metal looked a little bit corroded. So once I cleaned that up and replaced the batteries I noticed that it still wasn't working. So I took apart the bottom of this toy and I went inside to see if anything had fallen apart, if anything was further corroded. So I cleaned up some of the metal contacts on the inside and I noticed that one of the spots had actually fallen off. So it looked like it needs to be resoldered and I was able to mess around with it without resoldering it and I actually got this thing working. So of course it's off right now and there is an on switch and of course the motor runs pretty loud so this is not a quiet toy but of course when this came out back in the 80s this was all the rage and this was such an awesome toy it even came with a box that included some spheres and some squares that you could go ahead and pick up by controlling this device right here so this toy is just so awesome just looking at it we have this large top right here that you actually control it kind of resembles a crane and it resembles some of the machines from the 80s so this was marketed very well and this was definitely a pretty awesome toy back in the day as you can control it and it didn't have any parts of this that moved by themselves this was strictly you so of course you use both of these little joysticks right here to go ahead and open and close this you can twist and turn it and just kind of move this all around so of course when I first picked it up, I didn't think that I would have this thing working at all. But I was so excited to finally get this thing up and running. Just so I can see exactly what this thing was. So of course we have this blue, gray, and orange colors on here. So this is definitely a pretty awesome looking device right here. And of course it has that old Radio Shack logo. Now this particular one was made by Tandy. Now there are a few other styles and there are some that come with remotes, some that kind of have a robot-esque face to it with a claw arm, but this one was among the first and this they really did a great job with and it definitely has helped develop toys over the years. So of course I was so thrilled to find this one for only $2, so we'll go ahead and mess with it a little bit. So of course right away you notice that the motor is very loud and of course it continuously runs while you have it on. So I'll just go ahead and move some of this stuff around.
course, as you can tell, I got this thing up and running. It's definitely so awesome. And I even messed around with it, trying to pick up some pens and some other items. So this claw actually fully functions. It moves up and down. This thing opens and closes. And this arm lifts and fully spins around. So this is a pretty awesome toy right here. Now doing a little bit of research, I noticed that this thing actually cost a lot of money back in the 80s. So this thing when it first came out was over $30, which is a crazy amount of money. And they actually made several more of these with different styles and different shapes back in the 80s. So this is just a really cool piece of history. And I was so excited to pick one of these up. And for only $2, you couldn't go wrong, as just alone, having this item is so cool. And getting it to be fully functional without doing much work at all, I didn't spend any money trying to get this device up and running. I just messed around with some of the cables, and I actually got it working. So this toy is so cool, and I'm definitely thrilled to find it local at a secondhand store for only $2 as this is a really cool piece of history and this is a pretty awesome robot that if I had this growing up I would have had so much fun playing with it and I'm sure that many people remember playing with these growing up so of course thank you guys for watching make sure you like and subscribe go ahead and check out my other videos and stay tuned for more